Okay, Melissa, let's take a look at uh, button color. Um, so I just got your standard old click funnels button sitting right here. And the first thing we can do is we can come up here to the top and we can, of course, pick a theme if we want. And we can come down and look at all the different themes they had. And I forget you wanted a white border. Of course, I have a white background, so that's not going to show up anyway. Um, uh, button to be black and the border to be white. Okay, well, uh, can't really do that with the white background I have here. So we'll do the opposite. So here we have um, light button. You can do, sorry, like I said, you can do any of these here. Um, pick out one of these themes, but then also you can go into advanced and you can say here, we got our borders, inherent none, one through 10. And then we got some other specialty ones. Let's make this 10. But what we'll do then is we'll come back over here and we will, let me see if it's the background color. Um, no, that's the, the background color, the text color. All right. That's not going to do it. So yeah, I guess besides, um, yeah, besides the themes, nothing you can do natively inside of ClickFunnels. So what we will do is let's start off then with a blue pill button. And let's go to, again, let's put a border of 10 around this and go to our settings. So let's leave that as blue for right now. And what we can do is let's save this and preview it. And where'd it go? Okay, so now let's right click on it and we will inspect it. And let me just make sure we got the right place here. Right click, inspect. And I didn't think we did. So, um, okay, so here we got our button and then we have here let's see do we have any border on this button right here does not appear so let's look at the a tag we got a background color we got a font size we got a border 10 pixels right here and that is this color so let's change this color let's make it black oh, i see it is already set to black but the opacity was way down and so now it's black right there Okay, so in this case then, what do we need to do? See, that's L button B10, which I don't much care for using that. So let's just kill this. And let's just go up here and see if we can do it to the root. Um, let me see here, border, 10 pixels, solid red. Okay, that'll work. So we have a class of L button. We could go off of the class or we can go off of the ID here with CSS ID selector. We could use that or we could even change the data title on this and, um, and uh, target it by using the data title. But in this case here, let's just use this uh, CSS ID selector here. We will copy that. Go back into our CSS. We will put in a hashtag to indicate an ID. We will go V. And now what we're doing is we're we're grabbing this element. And then we have to say we need to look at the element inside of that. It's child element. And so we will just use A because this will be the only A element inside of it. Again, like I said, we could use classes. We could use this L button class followed by this L button class, all kinds of different ways to target this. And then all we're going to say is uh, what we have here is this border. So let's copy that. Let's come back over, put in A, put in a couple of curly brackets, drop that in, and let's move this out of the way. And there you go. Now we have our red, red background right there. So, so that's all you need is CSS ID selector space A, because we're targeting the anchor text inside of it. And just to clean this up a little bit, we will move that back over. Oop, there you go. And then border, however you want to color your border at that point. And then once you start uh, messing around with this, you can, of course, 
make the border look like anything you want. You can um, do colorized uh, gradients in the backgrounds of the image, things like that, because you could do, you know, background on here as well. So let's just say background, in this case, we'll do background color of, let me see, what is it now? It's, so let's make it yellow and let's uh, make that important and see if that works. That did. And so instead of uh, background color, you could just make a background. You can make an image in the background. You could do a gradient. You could do a lot of things uh, now that you know how to target it.